Also smart plays, because it's time for another episode of the Florencio Files. Um, I might sound a bit weird, that's because I just cast a fucking glorious previous Florencio Files episode. I can only hope this one can live up to the amazingness. Up here in the top right, in the red, it's... Not your oracle? New York Orange. I don't know. You guys throw out whatever the fuck you think NYO stands for. We'll try and figure it out. Down in the bottom left, in the blue, playing on his own account. Not smurfing. The sewer mermaid himself, lord of the cannons. He who wears a hat that is but a nexus. The man who is addicted to recall and needs to inject it at least three times a game. Straight into his veins. He is Florencio. The maker of guac. Forgot about that one. He's the maker of maker of fine tasty guac as well. And he says, let's start off with a nice juicy uh, pylon. How do you like that? The drone's like, I'm fucking done, man. Every time. I just want to be a hatchery. There's always some fucking probe putting down a pylon. Oh my god. That's alright. You know what? I'm going to go take another base. I'm going to send my drones out. We're going to take some bases elsewhere. I'm going to gas steal you. You've gone a gateway and a... a has he spotted the forge? Has he spotted the forge? He hasn't spotted the forge. Oh no. Oh, what the fuck is... Oh my god, New York Orange? Not your oracle? Oh my god. New Young Orifice? Okay, that's no. New Young Orifice, that's a- No, we're not calling it- Come on! That's a terrible name, Pig. Get your- Get your mind out of the gutter. Get your mind out of the gutter. New York Orange takes the corner hatchery. We're gonna stick with New York Orange. People in chat say, No, you're Orange! It's Donald Trump's account. <laughs> he wants to be better than Neeb. <laughs> He's like, You're Orange, mate. Not your oxy oxytocin, uh, or oxycotton, right? Oxycotton isn't it oxytocin, or are they different things? Oxycotton is also something, isn't it? I don't even know, man. Uh, any other good ones there? Nice yellow octopus. Oh, that's actually a good one. I do like that. I think we're gonna go with nice yellow octopus. All right, nice yellow octopus sees the zealot having a bit of a whack away on that extractor. Gas steel has gone down, but uh, you know the. Uh, <laughs> Fuck, what was the name? What was the, is ni the nice yellow octopus is chill. Nice yellow octopus is like, it's fine, I got a hatchery down here. Little does the nice yellow octopus that, uh, no, that there are a bunch of cheeky douchebag cannons. The sewer mermaid is in fine form. As uh, a couple cannons go down, and here goes the big reveal. Ah, fuck. Fuck. Ah, man. This nice yellow octopus having a bit of trubs. He's gonna start cleaning out that assimilator, starting to get a spine to try and break down here. The cannon container is solid though. And these cannons gonna to start to work on this hatch as well. Nice yellow octopus says, fuck you, I'm gonna take this hatch. I've seen the Florencio files, I know this name. There's a reason I sent my drones to the corner. It's because I wanna block you from taking your natural. You see, a lot of people looking at this are saying, oh no, the Zerg expansion is dying. What you don't know is nice yellow octopus knows who Florencio is, and this isn't meant to be an expansion. This is a hatch block. Nice Yellow Octopus wanted to block Florencio's natural, and so far it is succeeding fantastically. Even blocking this one, this probe is like, oh, I wanted to take my natural expansion. Ah, oh, what? Nice Yellow Octopus is like, get wrecked, but lock your expos. Florencio's locked in on one base. There's nowhere else he can expand, and in fact, there actually isn't because he has fully walled himself in. The Zerglings finally getting to the front of the base are with Zergling speed. Oh man, more Lings coming out, and there's a Baneling nest on the way. It's going to be a counter Baneling boss. These Lings going to start to work on the front. That hatch block has been cleared by these cannons. But these cannons aren't necessarily going to help too much. Those Zerglings, oh no, they lost their rally point after the hatchery died. They're going to just get baited in and die. That cannon does hold the ramp strong, and oh no. Nice yellow octopuses. Hatch block is gonna go down in the top left. Florencio, if those cannons finish, will be able to get out of this base. For now, though, I think banelings are about to morph. Uh oh, oh, couple of baneling bursty boys getting ready to explode. Their big banelingy explosions all over the dirty Protoss wall. And you know what? There's a crack. You break down that pylon, and there's a crack. And I'll let you know, nice yellow octopus is going to be in that crack in a flash. I don't know if you've ever seen those octopuses get caught on the boat, and then it disappears through the tiny hole in the side of the boat. We're about to see that right here. This octopus slides its way in like the filthy squid that it is. Those banelings blew up on a cannon! No, you weren't meant to do that, you dummies! I don't know if that's enough zerglings. The zealots, the probes, they turn. They're like, let's hold the choke point. Look at this heroic zealot. He says, get behind me, girls. I'll 
protectors. They're like, uh, mate, did you just assume the probe's gender? I don't know. I'm a probe. Ah, fucking shit. That zealot died. Ah, oh, we're all fucking... Ah, oh, man. How many... Actually, that's equal workers. That's fair. Is it even? You've got a wall off! No, Florencio! Oh, the zealot's stuck on the outside. Ah, oh, fucking shit. Ah, oh, that cannon goes up, though. Holds. Holds. And the contain's good. There's two... What the fuck? Where did these stalkers come from? Holy shit. As I say this, so I was actually reading on Twitter and I got educated um, that apparently the whole assuming your gender joke is super transphobic. And there's actually a pretty good reasoning behind it. So I'm going to try and cut that one out of my vocabulary. Internet, you poisoned me. You poisoned me into saying offensive things without even realizing it. I'm going to try and take that one out of my vocabulary. Speaking of getting things out of... Oh my god. Just exploded that acidy fucking burst all over their opponent. Oh, fuck me. Fuck me. Ah, uh, this base is looking quite alright. Except for the fact that there's seven probes on minerals. A couple of cannons up there. A couple of cannons there. And a couple of cannons there. I think this game is just waiting for Florencio to choose. Do you want this expansion? Or do you want this expansion? Which, which one are you going to take? And as a nice yellow octopus, what's your next play? There was a Roach Warren earlier, but it got cancelled. Instead of Baneliness got built. Now a Roach Warren's getting built. Build? I know how to speak good. <laughs> ah, nasty yellow octogenarians. Ah, well, I think we are about to see some nasty yellow octogenarians because if that pylon goes down, these cannons will be in dick town. You see, right now, it looks a little bit like a couple of round boys next to one pointy boy. Looks a little bit uh, vaguely phallic. Wait, there's a third round boy. Uh-oh, that's a mutation if I've ever seen one. You're not meant to have three round boys. I mean, sometimes if you've had, you know, a cancer or something, you might have only one round boy, not three, but I've never seen three before. Maybe that's the next mutation that's going to take over. I mean, realistically, if you can create a few more swimmers, then maybe you've got a higher chance of, you know, getting everyone pregnant. So we'll see exactly how we go. Drones down here just having some fun. Few people getting angry in chat. It's okay, guys. It's not about, it's not allowed as a joke. It's just... Ah, oh, fucking hell. Now people people are like, oh no, the joke's getting... It's, it's, it's fine. I'm just pointing out that there is a backstory on it. And there are jokes which can can be offensive, you know? And and I, I get it. I get it. I'm not big on the whole let's try and censor everything everyone says. But at the same time, I as a mature adult can choose not to say things if I realize that they can come off as being really fucking douchebaggy. That's all. It's not me being like, oh, fuck, I'm afraid I'm going to get in trouble. It's me realizing I might be, you know, just saying some hateful shit when the last thing I want to do is say some hateful shit or imply some hateful shit. That's all. Oh, fuck me. Gets the cancel. Nice fucking engage from the roaches here. I mean, did I say mature? Did I say I was mature? Okay, that's a bit of a joke, isn't it? I'm a human who can make my own decisions. I might not be... I might not... I might not be mature... But I, I'm allowed to make my own decisions on what I say and what I don't say. Don't... Uh, yeah. All right. Nexus is going up. What the fuck is Florencio doing? He's waddling around in the filth. Oh, the mind games. He goes, nah, you left. I'm going to just retake the fucking bottom right. And the roaches, look, they're like, I know where you are. You're expanding. Fucking nice yellow octopus. Oh, my God. Oh my god, he's gonna go to the top left. We're gonna have to see exactly how that goes. Ah. Oh shit. <clears throat> you never knew Florencio had three balls. What can I say? I mean, I, I did watch that. Did you guys watch the bowling? The bowling game? On this fucking map? He had like 12 balls here and he just kept throwing them into his opponent's face. It was the most brutal teabagging I've ever watched. I mean, to be fair, I mean, it, it's not too uncommon. I've seen a lot of pro players with a lot of... Uh, a lot of round things as well, but ah, oh, there we go. Another three balls. This just seems to be the pattern with Florencio. He's saying, you know what? Mutants are good. I'm not like those hateful politicians in the X-Men who are like, you're different. I want you to fucking die. He's like, nah, nah, testicular. That's, that's the name of one of the new X-Men. I don't know if you guys have heard. It has three testicles. And Florencio is like, I wish... I could be also like testicular, you know? It's kind of like the ones that can turn invisible, some have fur, some regenerate and have cool spikes and their name's a huge jacked man. Other ones just have three balls and all they do is get things pregnant a little bit uh, of a higher percentage than the normal people. But you know what? Xavier says, that's cool, you're part of the club. 
You need to learn how to control your powers. Testicular says, uh, Sir Patrick Stewart, but uh, what army powers? He says, I, I'm not really sure. I think it's just about basically kind of getting laid a lot. Uh, and then we end up having this whole weird scenario where you've got a fucking tele telekinetic dude in a wheelchair who, let's face it, is one suave motherfucker trying to teach Testicular how to get as many people pregnant as possible so that they can actually take over the world with their fucking mutant progeny. Speaking of mutant progeny, there's a bunch of fucking Chad Rays on the way. They're not exactly mutants, but they are about to unleash Dick Town on this pack of roaches. The Void Rays teleport in, they're gonna recall over, and they're gonna start to fucking annihilate these roaches. They're gonna fucking blast them down. Oh, one gets down there, those two stalkers say, nah, would you like some lasers in the face? The roach just... And that's the sound, of course, a roach makes when it dies. Can you imagine being a roach, by the way, guys? They literally vomit on their opponents. Can you imagine what it's like to permanently be at that point when you have food poisoning and you can feel the food coming up? And just on command, you can projectile vom all over your opponent? Wouldn't that be the fucking worst? Well, oh fuck me, Hydras and Queens taking on the Chad Rays. Look at the Chad Ray Micro. Neve takes over the controller. Pulling back the weak Chads. Oh, one Chad finally falls. But the Micro was good. All the anti-air's gone. These roaches are like, ah, oh, fuck. If only I could vomit into the sky. I just don't quite have the momentum. I don't have enough range on me vom. It's just not quite good enough. Ah, shit. Here we go, a couple of Chads coming around this side. And there we go, one little Spore Boy gonna try to fight the Chad Rays. But once again, Chad's a little bit too alpha for that cuck of a Spore Crawler. I mean, basically you're a fucking piece of tube pasta. That's essentially what a Spore Crawler is. Look at it. It's a tube pasta with spikes on it that shoots mucus. Like, <laughs> the Chad Rays just laugh, they slap it aside. They're like, get out of here, you fucking silly billy. They just knock him out, and now Florencio has an expansion up. 30 probes to 29. I think it's tied, neck and neck. It's even. It's close. Oh, God. Oh, no. What have I unleashed in chat? What have I unleashed? I haven't actually... I haven't, I haven't done a lot of research on it, but... I don't know, guys. I read a 140-character tweet or a 200-character tweet, it seemed like they had a reasonable explanation. I went with it, but apparently a lot of people are mad. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> it's okay, guys. Let's change the topic, shall we? Hey, Star Fox, what's happening? What is the joke with Florencio files? Um, okay, so it's not really a joke. It's more of a playstyle. Basically, Florencio is kind of like if you took a regular StarCraft player and then you got a paintbrush, but instead of a paint tin filled with paint, you had a paint tin filled with poo. You then kind of casually brushed a bit of paint all over the fucking StarCraft player. You gave them 16 different Smurf accounts and a habit for building cannons and Nexi in their opponent's bases. On top of that, you've got to also then take away that StarCraft player's inclination to use control groups or have any traditional understanding of the game somehow teleport them into Masters or GM and then unleash them upon the ladder. So that's essentially what Florencio's whole deal is. He's a sewer mermaid who's really good at StarCraft while also kind of not being good at StarCraft, but keeps beating people who are good at StarCraft and therefore by definition is good at StarCraft while also being kind of bad at StarCraft, but also fucking gloriously good at StarCraft. If that sounds like a contradiction, the answer is probably that you need to go to science school. That's where Florencio graduated from. He has three uh, postgraduate degrees, and that's why he actually understands StarCraft and this reasoning a lot more than you ever could. So for anyone who's confused, you're not really able to understand the calculations that go into it, you just need to make sure you delve deeper into StarCraft, you try and understand it more. And uh, I think that's what this nice yellow octopus is trying to do here. Nice Yellow Octopus says, Normally attacking up a ramp into cannons and a battery would not be a good idea. But you know what? I've had enough of your bullshit. I've watched the Day 9 Daily. And he says, When your opponent's doing some fucking weird shit, just go and fucking kill him. Unfortunately, in this case, Florencio has a lot of balls filled with some juicy, juicy lasers. And his boys are very fast swimmers, as you can see. Unleashing pain all over that Zerg army. And, uh, Jesus Christ, all that's left is a fucking 
a spuddle, a spuddle of blood. It's not a puddle, it's not a stream, it's a spuddle. That was a spuddle of blood right there. Jesus Christ, those oracles just had a massacre. I think at this point, a nice yellow octopus might not be that nice. Might be like, Protoss is bullshit. Florencio's an asshole, and I'm playing against a sewer mermaid. Even though I double hatch blocked the sewer mermaid's expansions, ah, uh, he still managed to get out 27 disco boys. They're now unleashing, unleashing? They're unleashing their swimmers on me, and uh, there we go. I mean, this, these Zerg armies are getting pregnant faster uh, than, uh, oh, I don't, don't, no, I don't even have one. I don't even have one that's vastly inappropriate that I had to rein in there. I was like, shit, we don't even have one. Uh, I really need to channel me in a, oh, fuck me. Look at that fountain of blood. What was the character's name from the Inbetweeners? The one who always thinks he's, he's getting laid? What's his, what's his name? Fucking love that character. The one who's he's always like, sniff my finger and shit like that, you know? He's basically the epitome of every fucking 14-year-old boy you've ever fucking seen. And he's like, nah, nah, nah. And he's like telling you about how the clitoris is on the forehead and shit. You know? Jay, that's his name. Thank you. Thank you, Ian. Jay, one of my favorite characters in any TV shows ever. I really, I really have got to channel my inner Jay a little bit more to get some of these, uh... These kind of metaphors and explanations going, holy shit, that drone line just got massacred. There's one last desperate Hydra attack going to this top left expansion. This Chad Ray, he, he's been standing tall, has 11 kills this whole game, but it's all about to end in a fucking brutal explosion. Chunks of him fly everywhere. Are we going to see a recall? No, it's on cooldown. The oracles are just chilling. Florencio is just going to evacuate. He's like, nah, that's okay, buddy. You can take this expansion. It doesn't even matter. Jay wanks with ham? What does that even mean? <laughs> I can't even remember. I've got to rewatch The Inbetweeners. That show is fucking glorious. If you've never watched The Inbetweeners, you 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 need to go and watch that show. So good. So good. Look at this fucking Oh, he's hunting. He's hunting. Florencio's like, where'd you go? Where'd you go, mate? The Hydra's managed to slip away. Oh my god. I gotta say, I think this is one of the first games of the Florencio Files where the Zerg player has actually got both Hydra upgrades. Isn't that incredible? Normally we see 40 minute games where they make one upgrade or none. No matter how many Hydras they make, but a nice yellow octopus knows their shit. Every Oracle turns on their laser beam to kill a single drone. The micro, the god tier science school moves. The probes are pulled in, the lasers turn on, the chads unleash their gigantic piss streams. Hell, they didn't even get halfway through their bladder. It stayed thin stream. They cross the streams. They make a vague Ghostbusters reference. Bill Murray, dressed as a zombie somewhere, cackles madly to himself. There we go, the piss stream goes on. They're crossing the streams. Sigourney Weaver, possessed by a fucking demon dog, is howling about some shit. There's a giant marshmallow man. Probes are killing drones for some reason. And this game has devolved into utter mayhem. I think at this point, Florencio, once again getting distracted by a tiny fucking counterattack of Hydralis, is like, yeah, I think I need eight Chandrays to take down six Hydras. I don't think three was enough. He's just got to make 100% sure he cleans this game up. Stay puffed, indeed. And, uh, nice yellow octopus has had enough of this brutal fucking smashing to the face. GG's. Florencio takes it out. We got a little derailed in the chat one. Some people don't like their freedom of speech being impinged upon. Oh, fuck me. But, uh, yeah, it's all good, friends, boys, girls, ladies, gentlefolk, and of course, of course people who like arguing on the internet. Now, to be, to be honest, this is one of my favorite chats of all time, everybody. I love, I love yous. I love yous. Uh, I occasionally send yous off in some weird tangents. I, I don't get to follow it when I'm streaming, but I'm always like, fuck, is chat going to be super toxic? I get back and it's super chill and people are just discussing things and sometimes it's a contentious topic, but actually I don't think anyone's being a dick to each other. If they did, the mods already got to it before I even could. So hats